centre and just show you some of our dogs that are looking for homes and um, mainly the dogs that have been here a while that we're just trying to promote and to see if anybody is interested in adopting them so today we're just going to start with Baxter so Baxter is a middle-aged lurcher he is extremely sweet he is a couch potato so he will literally the minute he sees a couch he'll jump up and go for a nap he loves beds as well he'll jump on your bed and um, he loves to go for his walks but just one walk a day will do him because he's not that very active so we're just kind of looking for a quiet home for him there he is just finishing off his breakfast we're looking for a quiet home for baxter where there won't be too much going on because when he gets um, excited he can get very giddy um, and he can mouth so we're looking for an adult only home as well because children will worry him a little bit he has been in the centre for quite a while now and we haven't gotten a huge amount of interest so we're just looking for that special home for him. He's not a very high maintenance dog and um, so he's perfect for someone just looking for a bit of company in the house. Now we're just going to head on down and have a look at one of the other dogs here at the centre. Can we come in? Can we come in? Oh, oh hello! Oh. Now Glenn loves her food, so you have to be careful. Good job! Because she can snatch the food out your hands. So we've been doing training with her just so to take it gently. Um, but she's very sweet, she's an extremely active dog, so she loves to go for walks. So she needs an active home. As you can see, she's quite a big dog. A um, bit boisterous as well, so she does need training to be continued into her home. What we do teach her here is a touch. So basically we just signal her hand and then she touches and we reward. Touch! 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 <laughs> Touch! You know where the camera is there. No, of course. <laughs> when there's a camera here, they just... They know. Good job. She's very sweet though, um, really sweet nature. Um, she's not a huge fan of dogs, that's the only thing. So she has to be walked where it's quiet and not around other dogs. Um, again, she's looking for you know, an adult only home, someone interested in doing training because she's really smart. Um, <laughs> and again, we've been getting not a whole lot of interest in her, unfortunately. But she's like a kind of like a Labrador mix, um, fully grown. So if you're looking for someone to go for long walks with and to do some training with, she is ideal. The only thing I will say is keep your food off the counter because she will eat it all. Won't you? Yeah, good job. Thanks, Glenn. Ready? Okay. Good job. sorting out all the laundry so we are very busy with our laundry room at the moment because it's raining outside which means that we have to change everything all day long so these washing machines and dryers are constantly going as you can see people have been great donating bedding so we're full to the brim at the moment thankfully have all our sheets here more beds our plastic beds as well raised beds for some brother dogs and then we're just going to take a look in here and see who's down here. So every block has their own laundry room. Yeah, there's Strider. So this is Strider. 
He's a gorgeous German Shepherd. He's an absolute sweetheart. He's very good at people, loves people. He's an active fella. We're just gonna go in and say hello. Hi, Strider. Oh, you will already, right, you're wet. Yeah. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> As you can see, he's so friendly. Good boy. Yes, good job. So Strider doesn't like other dogs around, so we have to walk him when it's really quiet here at the centre. So he has his allocated times where he goes for his walks. He's quite strong on the lead, so he needs a bit of training in that aspect. But he's very, very clever. He will do anything for food. And he's also loves to play fetch, ball mad. Um, so we're looking for ideally a rural home with an enclosed garden for him. Um, somewhere where it's nice and quiet, where he doesn't have to bump into other dogs out walking. But he loves people, so he's great with anybody he meets, which is brilliant. Um, and he's super sweet. He's a very gentle boy. Um, again, loves his comforts, loves his play. He's a little bit older, so he's not a very young shepherd, which is great because it can be very energetic. <laughs> oh, yum. And he's very good at taking treats. He's a handsome old devil, aren't you? You're a good boy. So yeah, that's Strider. Anyone looking for a shepherd? He is amazing. Marshall. Do you want to go into Marshall? I'll go into Marshall. Marshall's a bit nervous of people that he doesn't know. Now he knows me, so I'm sure he'll be happy. Hello, Marsh. Now Marshall has been here a while. Um, unfortunately, he's a he's a lab collie mix. Sorry, I'm just getting cuddled here. He's a lab collie mix. Um, he is very sweet, very bouncy. Sorry. Hello, giant. Say hello. Very sweet, very bouncy. Um, he's obsessed with playing fetch, so he'd play all day long. And he's very good, like he brings the ball back and drops it for you and waits for you to throw it again. Um, he does get on well with some dogs, not all dogs, um, but he can be walked around them, that's no issue. He's looking for an adult-only home. Um, he does suffer with the likes of separation anxiety, so he doesn't like being left alone, because once he loves you, that's it, you're his best friend. It can take a little while to get to know him and to build that bond, um, but once you do, he never forgets you. Um, he's super clever as well. Um, he's really good with his training. Hello. Hello. Um, so yeah, he's a super dog, just very energetic, loves to go for walks. Um, he's not a big fan of strangers. So again, he'd need a home, a quiet home where there's not too many visitors. He's now throwing the toy to me because he wants to play. Ready? Good job. Um, so yeah, that's Marshall. So he's been here a while. We do get a lot of interest, but unfortunately not the right home has come along yet. But hopefully soon, because he's an absolute sweetheart and he's a very sensitive guy, so kennels aren't the best place for him. Now, Marsh, ready? Good job. See you later. Have fun. Oh, boy. This is Vinny. So Vinny's a collie, you've probably seen him um, on Instagram a couple of times because he loves the camera. Great with people, loves people, but he does not like other dogs at all. So we're looking for a rural home for him with an enclosed garden where he can play fetch. He's back from his walk. He's, he's like... just back from his walk, he's exhausted, he doesn't want to get up. Which is fair enough, especially on a day like today. Um, so yeah, he's looking for a home. which is fair enough. And then we have Rory. So Rory is a terrier mix. Um, he is worried by new people. Hi. As you can see, oh, he's very sick. So we're gonna head down to low stress now. Um, so low stress is where Chef is housed, and I'm sure you've seen Chef before, he's a collie cross, he's been here quite a while. He is still looking for a home. Uh, this is our storeroom. So this is where we store all of our food. Thankfully we've gotten amazing donations of wet food, which is great for dogs. We keep some busy throughout the day, we make up like Kongs for them, enrichment boxes. 
unfortunately it's still raining. The dogs, nevertheless, they still get their walks. They get kennel cuddles as well. Um, our dogs don't mind the rain, so, which is a good thing because it just rains a lot lately. Now, so this is low stress. This is where our dogs are housed at struggling kennels. Hi Jack. So that's Jack. He's quite a worried boy, bless him. Now, where's Shep? There he is. Good morning, were you sleeping? Hello. He was in his crate at the back going for sleep. Oh, come here, fella. Come here. What you doing? What? Oh. So, Shep adores Jason. Oh. I'm invisible right now. Oh. Fair Oh, thank you. Oh, did you hear me? I'm sorry. So this is Chef. Hello. Chef is a collie. So... Hi. He's very energetic. Hi. Yeah. What's wrong? Look at him. Hi. He's Hi. very happy to see Jason. Thank you. He doesn't see Jason too often because Jason's in the office. He sees me every day, so I am not a novelty. I'm with now. So Chef's been out for his walk today because I can feel he's soaking. Um, so the main thing with Shep really is he over attaches to people so when he gets to know you he adores you he prefers men so we're looking for a home ideally where there's a man preferably on his own because as I say he over attaches so he just loves to give all his love to one person and um, he is looking for a quiet home where there's no dogs on either side because he's not a big fan of dogs um, and he's in a girl's garden where he can play ball because he loves to play fetch, don't you? And he loves toys. Like, as you can see, he has a toy basket and there's like a million toys because he picks a new one every day to play with. Good boy, and that's the choice today. Um, so yeah, Chef, he's an amazing dog. Um, he will require multiple meets here at the centre and home visits. So it's quite a commitment to take him on, but he will be worth it in the end because once he knows you, the love he gives is unreal. Um, he's been here quite a long time, which is a shame because he's a super dog. Um, he is stranger reactive initially, but once he gets to know you, as I say, he's amazing. So he just needs somewhere quiet with no visitors. Someone who's home all day because he doesn't like being left on his own. That's another major thing. Um, so yeah, just if you know any men out there that are on their own, looking for a companion, he'd be ideal. Um, so yeah, that's Chef. He's a good boy. <gasps> You've probably seen the Star Wars video. He's an avid fan. As you can see, he has a lovely memory foam mattress as his bed because he is the king of this place and he knows it, don't you? You do, you know it, yeah. So yeah, he's really affectionate, he loves his cuddles. If you could stay here all day with him, he'd be the happiest dog in the world. Unfortunately, we can't though because we have so many other dogs, don't we? Yeah, we do. He talks as well, by the way, as you can see. Can I have it? Thank you. Can I drop it? Talk. Well, what's wrong with you? Can you say hello? For the camera. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? He loves the camera. <gasps> Where's your ball? Where'd your ball go? Good boy. <laughs> so this is him. This isn't growling, this is him talking. Which puts a lot of people off because they're like, oh, he's growling. He's not. He's just a huge talker. So you don't oh. want to be afraid of that. Hi. Can I have a Can I have a ball? Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go, quick. Come on. So that's Chef. Come on, so. Lord Chef. What else do we have? What you doing? What? Up here? Oh. Into bed? The radio is there. Wait. So before we leave, we always just give Chef a treat because he doesn't like being left. You can go first. Oh, I know you're so mean for leaving you. That's a good radio. I love the classical music, so they do. I just don't check the market. The brown one? Am I okay just to go that way? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hi.
you trying to get back in? <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to head over to another block. Game. are looking for a home again they've been here for quite a while um, and they're all a behavior fans just to help them get the best chance of a home so first we're going to go to janice mm -hmm. Hi. what are we doing what are you doing so this is janice what are you doing janice is a stuffy cross she's about four Hi. Super affectionate. <laughs> Hi. So Janice, um, she doesn't own her standard. She wasn't coping very well in the home, so she came into us for a home. As you can see, she is full of energy. So she's very high energy, loves to go for walks. So she's not a fan of other dogs. She's like some smaller dogs, but not big dogs. And um, so when she's being walked, she needs to be walked in quiet areas. And um, she is worried by the likes of new people, especially men. Hi. Bar Jason. Hi. She loves Jason, but she knows him quite a while. Hi. Um, so we're looking for a female only home for her, because she loves females more. So it's the best chance of getting her the right home this time. She will need an adult only home and she's very full on. So she'll need a lot of training in her home as well. She needs a home where there's no grass in the garden because she does fixate on grass. That's and my mask! Just, <laughs> she does just dig at it all day. So, yeah, we're looking for a quite, quite a specific home for her. Um, but she's an absolute sweetheart. She will just lie on the couch with you and watch Teddy. Um, loves, loves her cuddles. And loves her toys. She's obsessed with toys, especially rope toys. She loves rope toys. Not that one. That's one. <laughs> this one here. Janice, ready? That's her favourite one. What's she loves to play fetch as well. What is it? Um, oh. She's a super dog, aren't you? So yeah, if you know anybody looking for a stuffy that's in a quiet area, with no children, she would be ideal. Um, but she doesn't cope quite well in the kennels. She gets upset because she can't have someone with her all the time. So ideally someone home all day with her would be great. She would be a great companion for somebody. Good girl. <laughs> so that's Janice. Don't make it easy, do you? She doesn't make it easy, but she just wants to be on your lap. Do some food? Hey, look. Hi. Janice. Okay. Oh. So Janice has a raised bed because she likes to be up high to watch everything that's going on as well. So we like to mix around their beds as well um, every so often. Just to see, like a preference test to see what they enjoy more. And she enjoys being up high, so that's what we do for her to help her cope. She loves her food as well, as you can see. Tail is always gone. Meow. So next we're going to go to Rex. So Rex is a husky cross. He's six years of age. But he thinks he's six months because he is full of energy. And you'll see now in a minute why. Hi, Rex. You listen? Oh, good boy. Hi, good boy. Ready? Ready? So, Rex is a husky cross, so he's full of beans, um, always on the go. He'd be an ideal dog for someone looking for a dog to go hiking with or running with because he loves to be out and about he doesn't like to be indoors too much like he, he'd love a garden to play in and to sunbathe in 
um, when he's confined in an area, he gets quite worried. So we're looking for a home that definitely has a secure back garden for him. Um, and that spends a lot of time outdoors. <laughs> he loves his toys, absolutely adores them. We give him a new toy every hour because it keeps him happy. And um, he'll happily play on his own with his toys as well when he's when we we're busy kind of walking the other dogs. But he's super affectionate once he gets to know you, but that takes quite a long time for him to come around to you. So we will need multiple meets here at the centre. I've known him since day one. Um, he's my best buddy now. He knows Jason well as well. So this is him when he, when he knows you well. He's very affectionate, but when you first meet him, he'll be very standoffish. But again, just for time, you learn to trust again. Good boy. So yeah, so for Rex, we're looking for an active home with adults only, because he'd be worried by children. Um, a very calm environment for him would be ideal. Um, we'd love a rural home because he'd love space to run around. So if there's anyone living in the country that would like a nice dog, he'd be ideal. But again, it's not essential, just as long as there's not dogs on either side, because that would upset him. Um, as long as it's a secure garden where it's quiet, he'd be happy enough. He can be strong on leads, so someone that's well able to manage him would be great. Um, yeah. And he's very beautiful. Aren't you? He's very beautiful, so that's a plus as well. And it's very rare you see a black husky as well, so he's, he's different. Which we like. We like different. So that's Rex. Good boy. We're going to leave him play with his toys while we go to somebody else. I'm just going to give him some treats. So this is Finn. So you might have seen him on the website recently looking for a home. He's quite worried by new people, but he knows me well, so I'm just gonna head into him. Hello, good boy. Here he is. Now, so Finn is a very sweet border collie. He's only about two, so he's still a baby. He's a very sensitive boy, so he's very sensitive to change, to noises, uh, sudden movements. He can get quite worried. Uh, we've been doing, so he's been going through a lot of training to get him rehomable, basically, because his main issue is he is terrified of strangers. So when he meets a new person, he will bark, um, which can be quite scary for people um, when they first see him. He doesn't mean any harm, he just gets such a fright. So again, he's a dog who will need multiple meets here at the centre. Um, but you know what, his affection and his love will be all worth it in the end because when, again, when he does know you, my God, he is the biggest cuddle bug. Like he wants to be on your lap. He thinks he's tiny, which you're not, Finn. But um, yeah, so he has, he has a couple of cares here who just work with him all the time and adore him. He gets on well with dogs as well. Like most dogs, not all dogs, but as long as they're playful and sweet with him, he's playful and sweet back. If they bark at him, he'll bark at them back, which is fair enough. Um, so yeah, he's looking for a home. So ideally what we're looking for is an adult only home. Somebody who has experience with dogs like himself, who have been through it before, because he's definitely not a dog for first time owners. Um, he needs a lot of ongoing training and rehabilitation in the home, especially around, you know, he can't really have visitors visiting the house or anything so that will just upset him. We want to home him as an only dog, even though he gets on with dogs, but he prefers all the attention. So if he's the only dog in the house, that'd be ideal. Uh, enclosed back garden would be great. Um, very quiet home as well, where there's not too much going on, because otherwise he'll just get quite upset. Um, but he's really playful, giddy, loves to run around. He's back from his walk, so he's a little bit more subdued. But yeah, he loves his cuddles and his belly rubs. Um, but as you know, with collies anyway, they're, they are high energy dogs, you know, they need to be kept on the go all the time, they need training done with them. Otherwise it can lead to different behaviours like being destructive, you know, um, unwanted behaviours such as like barking non-stop and things like that. So if you're taking on a border collie, just make sure you have the time and the energy to put into them. Because then they're just amazing dogs. Ranges. He's trying to get on my lap. <laughs> So yeah, that's Finn Bob. That's Finn Bob. Good boy, thank you. That's a lovely paw. 
So yeah, I'm gonna leave him be and go on to the next one because there's loads. Oh, thank you. Oh. He loves to lick eyes as well. Weird, but that's fine. His little bandana. He's adorable. Hi, Finn Bob. Go on. I'm going to bed for me. Into bed. Into bed. Good job. Wait. Good job. Now. And this is Apollo. So Apollo is only newly gone up for adoption. I don't even know if she's on the website yet. She is a little terrier cross looking for a home. We think there might be a bit of chihuahua in her. She has the attitude of a chihuahua anyway. So when she initiates people, she's really worried. Um, not like this at all. You know, she'll shut down, she'll growl. So it will just take time to build up that bond with her. But one day, this is her. She loves to play, loves cuddles. If she could sit on your neck all day, she would. She just loves to get up there. Um, extremely affectionate, extremely playful. The only thing we will say is the home that she will need will need to be quite specific. She does not like visitors coming in and out of the house, knocking on the doors, and um, that's why she was brought in to us. Uh, she will need an adult-only home with somebody home most of the day because she has severe separation anxiety. She will likely over attach to one person, so we're looking for just like a one person home for her. That will just basically be with her all day. Um, so if there's anybody out there on their, living on their own that just wants a lovely companion, she's ideal. She is active, so don't be fooled by her size. She loves to go walking, so she will need an active home that will bring her for lots of walks. Uh, she gets on well with other dogs, which is great. So that's Apollo. And while we're here, I'm going to show you Elsie. So this is Elsie. So Elsie's a worried girl, as you can see. I'm going to go in and see what she's come into me. She doesn't like cameras. So you can just put it on the floor and it's very fun. And yeah. It Hi, Elsie. Hi, Elsie. Oh, good girl, are you coming in? So Elsie came into us as a pregnant dog. Um, she had her puppies here at the centre and they got rehabbed. So she's been with us ever since. She's been with us here for quite a while because she is a very, very worried dog. Um, she knows me quite well, but she is afraid of cameras, phones, things like that. Anything that's out of the ordinary, she's afraid of. She gets on great with other dogs, so we're looking for a home specifically with another dog, but the other dog will have to be full on and playful. And the reason for that is she loves to play, but she nips their ankles, she bites their necks. So a dog that would be afraid of that would be no good to her because otherwise she'll just get frustrated and won't, won't be happy. So as you can see, she's a gorgeous dog. She's very, very sweet. Um, at the moment, she is being rehabilitated to the lead because she doesn't know how to walk on a lead. Uh, so we're in the middle of that process at the moment. She could I'm going to leave because she's quite worried. But yeah, she is looking for a home, uh, a very quiet home, adult only, someone with experience with nervous dogs and that has another dog that's super around people so that she can learn off them. Um, she is very sweet, but very nervous around loud noises, sudden movements. So again, a house that's really quiet and someone with a very gentle nature would be ideal. Bye, Elsie. See you later. Good girl. Here's Janice again. Yep. Where do you want to go? Um, no, I'll say goodbye here. Okay, so that is our tour for today. So that was only literally a handful of dogs looking for a home. And um, we have so many dogs looking for a home. So if you want to check out our website, any of the dogs that you've seen here today, they're on the website. So if you want to have a look at their profiles online, fill in a rehoming application online um, and send it back and we'll get back in touch with you. And um, just make sure to share this video and tag your friends that are looking to adopt because we have so many here looking for a home. And um, so until next time, have a good weekend. Thank you.